This is an amazing little pill called Kale Ammo from Standard Process. It's a little white pill. You have to keep it in its own jar because you don't want moisture to get in there. It'll crumble it. So make sure the lid is tight when you're done with it. So Kale Ammo is one of two products from Standard Process that I think are miracle products. The other one is called Pituitrophin. But Kale Ammo is indicated for alkalosis, joint pains, bursitis, allergies, asthma. It's a systemic acidifier. This information comes from the Standard Process Foundation and not from Standard Process, the manufacturing company. These are two separate legal entities. And the Standard Process Foundation has this booklet and clinical reference guide. And I'm looking at this every day when I'm in my clinic. And this is what it just says. This product contains uh, various salts and it's an acidifying compound. It provides the chlorides which maintain the acidity of the system. So it supplies uh, chlorides. Now it's for this term alkalosis. And on my YouTube channel, I've talked a lot about lactic acidosis, the most common mechanism of chronic disease. But there's one that's the opposite called alkalosis. And some people have this. And when they have this, they end up with these symptoms such as allergies, asthma, bursitis, knee pain, joint pain. It says the acid alkaline balance is very important in maintaining proper body function. Alkalosis is involved in conditions of asthma, allergies, arthritis, bursitis, infections, etc. If, if the fluid of the body is too alkaline, calcium precipitates out of solution and forms deposits in various places throughout the body. So calcium forms deposits if the pH is too high. So picture when you have calcium deposits in your body, that is disease. That is stiffening of the muscles. It's the slowing down of circulation of blood and lymph. It's the, the calcification of the whole body. When you have somebody in their late 80s and they're moving around really slowly and they, can't, they can barely turn their head, their body is calcified. Cal ammo reverses that. I use cal ammo a lot for kidney stones, gallstones, bone spurs. You know, when you when you have excess calcium deposited somewhere, cal ammo is part of the protocol to get rid of that excess calcium. Now, one other factor is people think that an alkaline diet is good. It's not good. It's never been proven to be a good thing. The alkaline diet was actually theorized in the late 1800s when nutrition science was brand new. And these scientists didn't know how to study nutrition. So one of the first things they did was they burnt food to an ash and they measured the pH. Some foods were, some ash of foods were alkaline, some were acidic. And based on that, they had some theories, but clinically it didn't mean anything. And by 1910, the whole alkaline diet was um, debunked. So, but here it is literally a century later and people still think an alkaline diet is something. It's not a thing. It's not a therapy at all. So, But there are some people that need an acidifying product like this to fix their body's condition. Now, in my past, I had a woman more than 20 years ago. She came to me with a bad knee that had been surgically replaced. And then her other knee was getting bad. And the doctors told her, we'll wait. Once it's bad enough, we'll replace that. Well, she became a patient of mine. I put her on this. Within a few days, all that knee pain was gone. And she's still a patient two decades later, and she still has that one knee that this cal ammo saved. When this fixes bursitis or joint pain, it fixes it within a week. The longest I've seen it ever take is six weeks, but usually it's gone within a week. Now, if it's not fixing joint pain, then your diagnosis is not bursitis. You have some other form of arthritis when cal ammo does not work to fix your joints. And this is an obvious thing to try regarding the allergy, asthma uh, scenarios, um, environmental allergies um, in the spring or in the fall. But there are other supplements that have other factors that can address allergies and asthma in different ways. So this is just one way. And when it works, it's a miracle. It's fantastic. I'm a big fan of Canlamo. Uh, not everybody needs it, but when people do need it, it uh, works wonders.